Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, I've just been fitting one of these charging leads to my bike. Winter's getting on, so I'm getting ready for winter. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it because without like showing Grandma how to suck eggs, I know you all don't know how to do this. But one thing I did when I opened it up, I looked under here at all the wires and I can see the negative terminal just here, which I can get to, the positive ones at the back. Normally on a motorbike you can get up both of them, can't you? So I took the seat off, which was a big mistake. I'll show you why. I'll just take it off. It's not fastened on at the minute. I was thinking doing that, taking the seat if I could get to the wires. So if I lift and just show you. Can you see that? It's all covered in. So now we're going to get the wires. So you've got to get the battery out. I'll just tell you quickly what you have to do. Let me see if I can get in a bit closer. Sorry. Can you see that? Make sure your ignition's off, take your key out and put your kill switch on. It looks worse than it is really. If you undo this little leather rubber belt here, take your tools out, and this lot, there's a, there's a rubber belt round here, or a rubber bag, this lot lifts off, I'll not do it now, but if you just pull that up, that comes up and turns out of the way, then there's this here, is on another little thing, you lift off and turn that out of the way, and then you've got to disconnect that. When you've done that, get hold of your battery, oh, first of all, there's another rubber belt for your battery in here, you've got to take that out, let it hang. This will all be out of the way here, just pull away, they're a bit stiff, but just get them out of the way. You can get hold of your battery, just pull it far enough to get to the negative lead. Take your negative lead off, just undo it there, that little screw. And when that's off, and that's out of the way, you can pull your battery out, and your battery will come here if you want. You can turn the battery around and get to the positive terminal. Then put your, your positive terminal onto this, on at the back there. Then you've got to push it back in place, and then you can get the the other one and then put the rubber back then clip that back on and that back on put your toolkit in and then when you shut the door actually it's quite a push because I've got my info to start with but just push it all back in and it'll close up alright so uh, that's the first thing I've done um, I'll put the seat back later I'll just put you out a bit further now. Another thing I do in the winter, I've done it on well, the last three or four bikes anyway, is buy, I bought well, a couple of these tubes, these tube heaters. They're only 80 watt, but they're ideal for keeping on your bike in the winter. Now I've got two here. If you look at this one, can you see that it's quite low? I've got another one here with longer legs on it. They're on eBay around £20. These are, they're 80 watt and they're about two foot long. But this one I found won't go under the centre stand. This one with a lower bracket will. So it go right under there. Put it on the stem like that. Connect to the mains. And what I use as well is one of these cheap chargers. It's not chargers, sorry. Timers. And then I set it on to come on 7 or 8 o'clock at night till 7 in the morning probably. I say it's only 80 watts so it's not going to use an awful lot of fuel, uh, electricity. And then that's, the, that's stage one. And another thing I do, excuse me, I've got a sheet of polyester here. I'll just put it on but I put that right over the bike. Then pull it down the front and back. You know what I mean. Cover the bike anyway. I'll pull back so you can see the idea. So the whole bike in the front wheel as well will be covered if you haven't quite done it properly. But something like that, where are we? I can't get back far enough. Here we are. 
I'll leave it like that during the winter at night <clears throat> and it keeps in a cocoon of nice drum warm dry air I don't know about using actual motorcycle cover uh, the waterproof ones I don't know if they might if you do get condensation striking up for the floor it might uh, stay inside the cover so I use this stuff uh, somebody did say once that cotton holds damp or moisture so you perhaps don't want a cotton one but that's polyester um, and that's what I do and leave, leave that for the winter obviously if the weather's dry I'll take it off and go for a ride but uh, keeps the bike dry and I've never had any trouble in the past with it they do get hot of course to the touch so don't when it's been on half an hour if you get hold of it you'll burn your hand and obviously make sure underneath can we see under there well, try and get underneath. It's not touching anything, it's close to that centre stand, but that won't hurt it. If you want, you could pull it further forward if you wanted. But that's why I've left my for quite a few years now. I had two bikes at one time, that's why I've got two stands. So, just, just a way of keeping it dry for the winter because we want to look after them. So, thanks for calling in and watching anyway, and uh, if that's an idea for anybody. You're welcome to it. See you again. Ta-da.